Hey everybody, Ranger Chris here and today I'm going to be going through how to identify lookouts and assassins during a showdown as well as how to get an easy silence pistol from an assassin. So first things first, instinct is your friend here. Make sure you constantly use instinct. Everybody around us here is a civilian. Notice how on instinct they all have a thin grey outline. Okay, you see that thin grey outline. And in this graphic here, I'm showing you how civilians, again, have a very faint, thin, grey outline. Keep this picture in mind because I'll be coming back to it later. Guards, on the other hand, when you go into instinct mode, you'll see they have a thick white outline. These are the standard guards you find in Hokkaido and you can see thick white outline. These are armed guards. Now going back to that picture, you can see how the guards look. Thick, very prominent outline compared to the civilians we saw earlier. So a clear difference. Now you probably know your suspects will have a blue aura as seen there. Very easy to spot a suspect, they'll be blue in color. And um, you can either make them a prime suspect by clicking a button on your camera or you can make them not a suspect at all and this will make them turn gray. Above their head there you're going to see a little suspect marker and this symbol will change if they're doing a tell or an action like if they're a foodie or a bookworm or a smoker whenever they're doing those actions the symbol will change so just pay attention to that and see if it matches with the left side of a camera like in this example here these two suspects are having a secret meeting with that question mark sign and you see how it matches with your camera so they are most likely um, one of them may be your syndicate leader if they're doing something which doesn't match what's on your camera profile just rule them out okay so the first hint that you're going to be close to a lookout or an assassin is next to your minimap you might see a yellow marker pop up like that which is assassin nearby so now you got to start looking around okay see how this guy is a guard here and on instinct he's standing like a guard down there i see a what looks like a regular npc walking but he has a thick white outline that's not like a civilian he's dressed like a civilian but he has a thick white outline like a guard right so this is the best case scenario where it's really easy to identify an assassin you have a npc with a thick white outline like a guard but as you see he's dressed like a civilian now couple that with that assassin nearby marker in the lower left and you have easily identified your assassin. This guy is 100% assassin. He uh, or she will be very close to the suspect. They usually trail the suspect some, somewhere behind them. So if you look around for where your suspect is, which is that blue aura moving around, and you see this thick white outlined character just following the suspect, stopping at intervals, you'll know you have your assassin. Now, um, the assassin nearby minimap marker is a skull and crossbones. Let's switch over to a lookout and see what that looks like. So to keep things simple, I'm using the same graphic. Now, say this person, thick white outline like a guard, dressed like a civilian, also had a white enforcer dot above their head. Now, these are the uh, symbol that, you know, if you get too close, they'll be able to spot you. To confirm it, look in the bottom left at the minimap and instead of a skull and crossbones, you're going to see this binocular symbol and it's going to say look out nearby. So a combination of that yellow symbol in the bottom left plus having a character with a thick white outline with an enforcer dot above their head, especially if they're dressed like a civilian, you have confirmed their lookout. Now these are all ideal situations, but in reality, the lookout or the assassin may not be dressed like a civilian. They may uh, look like a guard. Like in this case, I see the bottom left for the binocular symbol, so I know a lookout is nearby. And I see this character with a thick white outline and the enforcer dot walking around. This is the only guy with the enforcer dot in the area, so he has to be the lookout. But as you notice, he's dressed like a bodyguard. So if you're not careful, you might, you might um, be looking for a civilian and end up running into this guy. Okay, to sum it all up, thick white outline with an assassin skull and crossbone symbol in the bottom left, that's an assassin. If that same uh, character has an enforcer dot above their head with a binocular symbol in the lower left, that's a lookout. 
Also notice their behavior. I don't know if it's a programming problem or what, but um, this assassin is just standing there like a zombie, not moving at all, not interacting with the environment. Notice how everybody else is kind of interacting with the environment um, and has a role, but um, this assassin is just standing there, not doing anything. Lookouts, on the other hand, tend to patrol. You can see it in the background there. They just tend to patrol. Um, I don't know if it's a set path or what, but they'll just be walking around the map with that enforcer dot above their head. Let's talk about their behavior. Assassins don't do anything to you. Even if you're trespassing and their uh, suspect and the assassin are there with you in, while you're trespassing, they will just ignore you. Assassins don't do anything unless you uh, draw a weapon or become aggressive. Lookouts, on the other hand, you want to stay far away from unless you sneak up on them. Because um, if they spot you, they will alert the, the syndicate leader and um, cause them to start uh, trying to escape. Assassins, when they get alerted, which you really don't want to happen, will um, end up killing you within two to three shots. Okay, so now that we've gone over all this, let's talk about how to get that gun from the assassin. The first method is probably the most straightforward. Assassins and lookouts can be distracted just like any other NPC. So you throw an object nearby, they'll go over to investigate, um, breaking them out of their regular pathway like you see here, and you can just subdue them silently. They will drop the assassin silence pistol, and there you go. Very easy silence pistol, um, which is good to take with you on any mission. Now here you can see, I'm going to kill this assassin. Killing an assassin or a lookout gives you a chunk of XP, um, a good amount of XP, and it's always worth killing an assassin or lookout if you can. So method one, use a distraction, take them down like any other NPC, and you have your gun. Method number two is using a banana. Um, the assassin and suspect will always follow the same pathway around the map. So once you study their pathway, just like a courier, you'll be able to place a banana accurately. Uh, you can manipulate them into that path. It'll slip and fall. This is an accident. It's not a crime. Very interestingly, once they wake up, the assassin will just completely ignore their gun and walk off. And um, uh, you might be able to just grab the gun off the ground and quickly pocket it like you see here. And now we come to our third method, which is using the Calmer Tranquilizer Dart. Similar to other tactics, just shoot him with the Calmer Tranquilizer. He'll pass out and grab the gun right off the ground. A fourth method, if you don't want bodies to be found, is using the Seeker Emetic Dart. Um, whenever I pull out an illegal weapon, assassins will also have that you know, white dot above their head, just like any NPC would. But um, if you don't want bodies to be found, shoot them with an emetic dart and uh, they'll go off to a bathroom where you can easily get the pistol. Again, notice how this guy is just standing there like a, like a complete statue. And um, it's just uh, very easy to recognize the programming. And the final uh, method to take out an assassin, which I didn't show in this video, is using a sniper rifle. Um, from a distance or any kind of range firearm to you know just kill them from a distance run over to the body and get the gun this is especially useful if you know their pathing and you know which um, direction they're going to be walking and you have a good vantage point and this assassin's pistol is what I take on every mission and that's why it took a lot of time um, trying to describe how to identify an assassin because once you recognize one you can easily replace this pistol if you die in a mission. So I recommend always bring an assassin's pistol as your primary silence pistol in Hitman Freelancer. Now I wanted to end this video by giving you a little bonus tip to help you in your showdowns. Say you have um, narrowed down your targets and you expect this to be a very difficult showdown with multiple suspects, six, nine, etc. Make sure you have an objective to poison your target. Now this objective will only uh, proc if you actually poison the syndicate leader. So to test it out, shoot the syndicate leader or poison them however you want and you should get the objective and this will confirm that you have hit the right person. I'll just show it again up here. You can see as soon as I hit the person with the dart who I think is the syndicate leader, 
it's going to um, show as objective complete so now i know for sure that this person is my syndicate leader it's just a little trick to have up your sleeve and you can plan for this in the future because you can kind of um, determine where your showdown is going to be you know because it's always the last map which you play so if you have any of your maps which have the poison target um, objective you can consider saving that for your showdown um, the other thing is i think uh, the big pharma syndicate is has a lot of poison objectives so uh, that's a good one to pick in case you want to use this trick okay so a bit of a long one but i hope all this information will be really helpful to you in achieving success in those showdowns which can be pretty tough at times hopefully you're able to identify lookouts and avoid them identify assassins and get their guns take down lookouts and assassins when you're more experienced as well as narrow down your hunt for the syndicate leader and take them out thank you so much for all the support i really appreciate all of you guys and um, we'll see you next time please remember to like and subscribe check our channel out for other cool guides take care